Okay, so here is the first Russian strange letter that has a familiar sound. This is a letter B. B, and it sounds like B. B. Well, in some situations, again, it depends on the position, it may also sound as P. P. So, B or P. And, as you understand, is it's an equivalent to an English B. So, it really sounds almost the same as an English B in words like bar, bar, so b, b, b. And the word association that we have with this letter is babushka, babushka. And you heard me right, it's babushka and not babushka. I know that many foreigners believe that we need to put stress actually on the letter U, but it's not correct. It's correct to say babushka, babushka. Would you like some practice with Russian English cognates? Well, here they are. Let's try to guess. So here, of course, again, you don't know all the letters yet. Let's read the first word. It's biologia. Biologia. Always pronounced as a because it's not stressed. Biologia. Can you guess what it is? Biologia. In English, it is a biology, of course. Biology, biologia, biologia. Next is a word, balkon, balkon. Try to guess what it is in English. Balkon or a balcony, of course. Balkon, balkon. Next is a word, banan, banan. Well, this one is really easy. Banan. Next, barbecue. Barbecue. Again, it's not a Russian word, so it's quite easy to guess it. Barbecue. Barbecue. And you can see what it is in English. Barbecue. Barbecue. Next, we have butilka. Butilka. Try to guess in English. Butilka. A bottle, yes. Next, brat. Brat. Well, it doesn't sound completely the same as its, as its English equivalent, but anyways, there are some similarities in sounds. So, brat, brat, and in English, it's a brother. Brat, brat. And the last word is bunk, bunk, bunk. And in English, it is bank, of course. Bank. Bank. And here is the word that you need to guess. Again, I changed several letters that you already know in Russian. So, that is why you can see now that there are actually three letters in the beginning which are Russian. Russian letters. But anyway, since you know what it is, just by looking like this, looking the, at this word, I know that you guess it. So, that is why your brain is hacked to read it the way that you know, but with Russian letters. So, what it is? It is Burger King, of course. Well, in Russian, with the Russian pronunciation, I will read it Burger. Burger King. Burger King. The next strange looking Russian letter is a letter G. G. And its sound is G. G. In some situations, depending on its position, it may sound like K. K. So either G or K. And if you think that this letter looks really strange, we just need to remember that it comes from a Greek alphabet and you can see this letter, it is a letter gamma. So, you can see it really looked this way in a Greek alphabet. So, here, here we have it now, a letter G. G. A word association that we have with this letter Probably not the best one, but anyway, you should know this is also 
somewhat a part of our culture, and this is a word gopnik. Gopnik. So you can read the description, you can read more about this type of people on the internet, but uh, the most important thing that I want to tell you that you should beware these people if you are in Russia. Well, there are not so many nowadays, but anyway, you can meet them in some small cities, and this is not a good acquaintance. Believe me, Let's have some practice with Russian English similar words. The first word is grammatica. Grammatica. This is something that many people hate, especially when they start learning Russian language. Grammatica. Grammatica. Can you guess what it is? Grammatica. It's grammar. Yes, grammatica. Next, we have a word glossary. 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 Mm, can you guess what it is? Well, this one is not really difficult. It's a glossary. Glossary. Next, git. Git. Can you guess what it is? Git. And in English it is a guide. Sure. Guide. Git. Next, we have a longer word. Globalizacija. Globalizacija. Pay attention to the ending of this word. Globalizacija. Can you guess what it is? A globalization, of course. Globalization. Next is the word galireja. Galireja. And in English it is a gallery. Sure, gallery. And the last word, quite easy. Guitara. 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 And so in English it is a guitar, of course. A guitar. Guitara. Okay, look at this word and try to guess what it is. So, here we have only two Russian letters. So, two Russian letters in the beginning and then in the middle. So, can you guess what it is? I believe that it's quite easy. This is Google, of course. G. So, we have this Russian letter G. Google. Google. Here is the next strange-looking Russian letter. Letter D. D. And it sounds like D. D. In some situations, it will sound like T. T. D or T. And as you understand, it's equivalent to an English letter D. Just like in a word day. D. D. Day. And this interesting form of this letter D comes from a Greek alphabet, where we had this letter delta. Delta, well, you can see how it looks, and it comes from there. And the word association with this letter D is a word Davai. Davai. You definitely need to know this word from the beginning because it's a very multifunctional and useful word. Russian people use it a lot in many different situations. I have a video about this word. If you want, you can check. And yeah, you should know this word. It's very, uh, it's very handy to know it because you will be able to use it a lot as well. Let's look at some Russian English similar words with this letter. And the first is the word doctor. Doctor. It's easy. You can guess it straight away. Doctor is a doctor, of course. Next, designer. Designer. Well, it, it really sounds almost the same as its English equivalent. Next, we have a word document. 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 Again, as you can notice, I don't pronounce O as it's written. I pronounce it as A because it's not stressed. Document. A document, of course. Next, discussia. Discussia. 
дискуссия, and in English discussion, of course, дискуссия, discussion. Next, диета, диета, and in English a diet, диета, and the last word is депрессия. Депрессия. What is it? Депрессия in English. Depression. Депрессия. As you can notice that they really sound almost the same, but since we don't have the same sounds, well, it's not really the same, but anyway, it's quite easy to learn these words. Look at this word and try to read it. Again, we have a Russian letter just in the beginning, but since you know this word, you are familiar with this word in English, you will hack your brain by reading it with a Russian letter. And it is a Disney, of course, Disney, D, D, D. So we have this letter D in the beginning. Here is another weird looking Russian letter, a letter Z. Z. As you can see, it really looks like a number three. So, a letter Z, and it sounds like Z. Z. In some situations, it will sound like S. S. So, Z or S. And it is an equivalent to an English Z, just like in a word zap, zap, z, z. A word association for this letter is zakuska, zakuska. Well, you can read the description in brief. It is something that we eat while drinking something like vodka or something like this. Well, I don't drink myself, but Generally, people who drink vodka, they always need to have zakuska. And if you drink, if you happen to drink vodka with some Russians, always ask for zakuska. And of course, let's have some practice with Russian-English similar words. The first word is design. Design. We already had a word designer, and here it is design. What is it? Design, design, a design, of course. Next, результат, 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 and in Russian, so it isn't Russian, and in English it will be a result, sure. Next, экзотика, экзотика, экзотика. And in English it will be exotics, exotics, exotica, exotica. Next, a word that you will recognize straight away, I believe, mayonnaise, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. In English, well, of course, it's mayonnaise, mayo, as, the, as they call it in English. And the last word is season. Season, try to guess it in English. Season, a season, of course. Season, season. Okay, look at this word and try to read it. I will tell you that there are several Russian letters in it. And this way you will hack your brain because you will need to read it with English and Russian letters. And I believe that it's really easy to guess it. So, what do you see? Can you guess what this word is? Amazon. Of course, it's Amazon. And, well, in Russian we say Amazon. Amazon. Next strange-looking Russian letter is a letter E. E. So, it sounds almost the same as an English I in a word mix. Mix. Though E, a Russian E is more open. E, E. A good association with this letter is a word ikra. Ikra. 
So Ikra, as you can see, you can even read it as well on this can, and this is something Russian people really like, but yeah, it's costs really expensive, so not everyone, just like some foreigners actually think, not everyone in Russia can eat it. And let's have some practice with Russian English similar words. So the first one is intonacija. Intonacija. Again, pay attention to the end of this word. An intonacija. Intonacija. So what is it in English? Intonacija. And in English it is. Intonation, intonation. Next, next we have a word industria, industria, and in English it is industria, industry, industry. Next is a word interes, interes. Can you guess what it means in English? Interes. In English it is an interest, of course, interest. Next is a word informatsiya. Again, pay attention to the ending of this word. Informatsiya, informatsiya, and in English information, information. And the last word is kiwi, kiwi. This one is really easy, of course. Kiwi. Kiwi. Okay, look at this word and try to read it. In this word we only have the first letter, which is Russian, and the rest is in English. But I'm sure that you already know what it is, so it is IKEA. Well, in Russian we actually call it IKEA. I don't know, it's much easier for us to pronounce it this way, IKEA, but I know that in English mostly it should be pronounced like IKEA, if I'm not mistaken. So, in Russian it will be IKEA, IKEA. Next is a letter L, L, and it's pronounced like L, L, L. So, it's just an equivalent to an English letter L. L, just like in the words lake and so on. And an interesting association that you can learn, especially if you're interested in Russian history, is a name Lenin. Lenin, and so he was a communist, he was a leader of the Bolshevik party, and nowadays you can still see him, well, not see him in real, because you can actually visit his tomb. Uh, which is located in the mausoleum in Moscow. So if you're interested, you can go there. Let's have some practice. Well, now you already can read some of these letters. So if you want, you can first pause this video and try to read these words. Well, you will not be able to read everything if there are some letters that you don't know at the moment, but you can anyway try. And I will read it for you, and you will try to guess what it is in English. So the first letter, oh, the first word is literatura. 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 Can you guess what it is in English? Literatura. And in English it is literature. Literature. Next is the word lotteria. Lotteria. So, in English it is lottery. Lotteria. Lotteria. Next word is not really a word. <laughs> so, actually, it's a borrowed word that we took and we use it nowadays because we have social media. And it's a word like it. Like it. So, we actually have this English word inside it. Like it. Which is to like, but actually to like somebody on social media, in Instagram, on Instagram, on YouTube, and so on. Next, next we have a word limon. Limon. This one is quite easy, I believe. Limon. 
And in English, it's a lemon. Lemon. Next word that also comes from a previous word is limonat. Limonat. Can you guess what it is? Lemonade, of course. Limonat. Limonat. And the last word is lavanda. Lavanda. This one is really easy to guess. Lavanda. So, can you see what it is now? Well, you see, it sounds almost the same. Lavander. Lavanda. Okay, now you should try to read this word. Um, actually, here we have only one Russian letter, but we can say that the second one and the last one are also Russian letters, but they are both Russian and English. So, can you read it? I'm sure you can. It's quite easy. It's Lego. Lego. Well, in Russian we call it Lega. Lega. Next Russian letter, which is really confusing for Russian language learners, is a letter P. P. So, this letter, it's quite easy to remember, actually, because you just need to remember the number P and the way it's written. So, this way you will be able to remember how to write this Russian letter P. P. So, as you understand, it's somewhat equivalent to an English P. And it sounds like P. P. In some situations, though, it can sound as B, 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 P, P or B, B, P or B. It depends. It depends on the position of this letter in a word. A very good association with this letter is a word пельмени, пельмени. This is something Russian people love so much and we can eat it every day. <laughs> really. And these are Russian dumplings uh, filled with meat and you can eat it with some kind of sour cream or with ketchup or with mayonnaise as you want. And they are really good. Now let's have some practice with Russian English cognates and similar words. So again, I will read you some words, but first of all, you can try to read them yourself as as you can, because we haven't covered all letters yet. So, the first word is professor. Professor. I'm sure that you know what it is in English. Professor. And in English it is a professor, of course. Professor. Next is the word проект. Проект. In English it is Project. 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 Next is a word программа. Программа. And in English it is a program. Program. Программа. Next is a word проблема. Проблема. In English a problem. Sure. Проблема. Next is a word Политика. Политика. In English, politics. Политика. And the last one is паспорт. Паспорт. In English, passport. It's a passport. Паспорт. Паспорт. Look at this word and try to guess it. Try to read it. Here we have only the first letter that is Russian. So, this is Puma, of course, Puma. So, we have this letter P just in the beginning and you can see the difference. So, how they are written in English and how it's written in Russian. Now, look at this word. Well, here it's much more complicated because here we actually have all Russian letters. So, I believe that it can be a little bit more challenging. If you want, you can pause this video to make it easier for you to remember all these letters. And yeah, so here we have all Russian letters. Can you guess what it's written here? 
and you definitely know what it is in English, try to guess. So it is Pumpers. So this is the company Pumpers. I'm not sure that I pronounce it really correctly, but we say Pumpers. Pumpers. Here is another very interesting Russian letter. I know that sometimes it's quite difficult for foreigners to write it and well, to remember as well, because look at this form. It can be really challenging to remember about this letter. So this is a letter F. F. And it sounds like F. F. It's equivalent to an English letter F, so it's like F in father, father, f, f. And just for you to know, this letter comes from a Greek alphabet again, and it's also important to know that this letter sounds like F, but in some situations it can sound as V, so F or V. And a good word association with this letter is fig. Vam. Fig vam. Well, fig, it's not a curse word. It is somewhat like an euphemism of a curse word, but you can use it, it's fine. A uh, fig vam, well, of course, you shouldn't really use this phrase with everyone, and you will understand why when you read the description. This is literally the way to tell somebody that you don't want to do something and like you don't care about these people just like leave me alone i don't want to do what you ask me to do let's have some practice with russian english similar words so the first word that we have is effect 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 so you can notice as well that i don't really say this letter f i don't pronounce it Twice, I don't say F effect. Well, no, we don't speak like this. It mostly sounds like a one letter F, but pronounced really long. So, effect, effect. Do you know what it is? It's quite easy to guess. Effect is an effect, of course. Effect. Next is the word fact. Fact. F, f, fact. Can you guess what it is? It's a fact. 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 Next is a word philosophia. So we have double F. Philosophia. Philosophia. Can you guess what it is in English? Philosophia. Philosophy, of course. Philosophia. Next is a word myth. 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 Well, I'm sure that you know what it is in English. And the last word is film. Film. Again, it's quite easy to guess it. Film. And in English, well, film. 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 Just in a Russian word, you need to pronounce this soft sign. And again, I will show you how to do it later. Now look at this word. So we have this letter just in the beginning, then the second letter is both Russian and English, then we have an English letter and we have two letters in the end which are Russian. Well, the last one is both Russian and English. Can you guess what's written here? I'm sure you can, it's quite easy to guess. So it is Fanta, of course, Fanta. So we say Fanta. Fanta. Next letter is E. E. And it sounds like an English E in a word TED. TED. E. E. In some situations it can also sound like E. So either E or E. A good word association for this letter is Elbrus. Elbrus. You can read the description, you can see the photo if you want to learn more. Of course, you can also uh, find some more information on the internet. You can uh, find some more beautiful pictures of these wonderful, beautiful mountains. Let's have some practice with Russian English similar words. And the first word is examine. 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 
Do you know what it is? Well, in English it is exam. Exam. Next is a word evolutia. Evolutia. I'm sure that I have already mentioned this word, so again pay attention to the ending. Evolutia. And in English it is evolution. Evolution. Next is a word economica. Economica. Can you guess what it is in English? Economica. Economics. Economica. Next, egoist. 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 And in English, egoist. Egoist. And the last word is emotia. Emotia. And in English, pay attention to the ending of this word. Emotia. Emotion. Emotia. Look at this word and try to read what it's written here. So here we have three Russian letters. Three Russian letters, just in the beginning, the, the, the first three letters are Russian and the rest are English. So, can you read it? Pepsi, of course, Pepsi, Pepsi. So we have P, E, P, and then we have English letters, Pepsi. Good news, this is the end of this lesson. No more weird looking Russian letters that have similar sounds. Now we will have Russian letters and Russian sounds that don't exist at all in English. Yes. So before taking this lesson, of course, you can take a break. You can try to memorize everything that you have already learned to practice. And then you can come back to learn some Russian letters and sounds that don't exist at all in English language.